What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I want to discuss the backup hard drive that I've been using for the past couple of months now with my 15 inch MacBook Pro. As I'm sure all of you are aware, these new MacBook Pros only have four USB-C ports and a headphone jack in terms of I.O. While I personally am a total advocate for all companies pushing this port to their product, whether it's a camera, a smartphone, a laptop, or even a webcam, right now the world we live in is a little bit tough with all the different cords and ports that we currently use. With all of the 4K footage that I shoot with my drone and also all of the video taken for these YouTube videos right here. I need a place where I can just dump everything. I can offload my SD cards, organize everything, and ultimately back it up. If you guys don't back up your files, whether they're videos, pictures, or just important files in general, you really need to consider doing so as losing everything is a terrible feeling. Trust me. Now, only having USB-C ports on this laptop can make it challenging because of all of the dongles needed, but with the Lacey 2 Big RAID drive, it gives you all the ports that you need at your fingertips when sitting at your workstation. On the front of the device is an SD card slot, a compact flash slot, and a USB 3.0 Type-A port. Spinning things around back will reveal the power input, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a USB 3.1 port for stupid fast transfer speeds, and finally a display port. With all of those ports, that means that all I need to do is place my laptop on my desk, plug in my one single USB-C cord, and from there I have access to my archives stored on the drive itself, a second ultra-wide monitor through the display port, and a full USB hub that connects to things like my speakers, microphones, and chargers. I also have ports at my fingertips that aren't on these new MacBook Pros, like an SD card slot, a compact flash slot, and a Type-A USB port, as I already mentioned. On top of that, my laptop even begins charging. Speaking of charging, the one thing that drives me crazy is that it doesn't supply enough power to the battery to actually charge it. It just sort of makes the computer die faster if you're doing some intense video or photo editing. If you have the laptop shut or you're doing some lighter workloads like listening to music or surfing the internet, then it will charge. But usually when I'm sitting at my desk, I'm editing a video or some pictures. So I plug it into a separate charger so that it doesn't die on me. I should mention that this is only true for more powerful computers like the 15 inch laptop, the 15 inch MacBook Pro. If you have something smaller like a 13 inch MacBook Pro or just the slim MacBook that has one USB-C port, then it should charge. So the whole workstation thing really sold me on this drive, having access to all these different ports, but now I want to focus on what's inside, which is two 10 terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro drives. They're designed for power management and can handle 300 terabyte workloads per year. So in total, I have 20 terabytes of storage, but you can choose different sizes to save money. These options are eight terabytes, 12 terabytes, 16 terabytes, and of course the 20 terabytes that I'm using. Once you get the drive plugged into your computer, it is highly configurable through the Lacey RAID Manager application. You've got some different options to choose from. These are known as RAID levels, and because we only have two drives, we have two different options. These are RAID level zero and RAID level one. RAID zero will allow you to use both drives in conjunction to store as much data as it can hold. So with my two 10 terabyte drives, it'll give me a full 20 terabytes of storage using this RAID level zero configuration. Now this does give you the fastest transfer speeds, but it doesn't back up your data whatsoever. There is no protection. That is why I went with RAID level one, which as you can see, splits your total storage in half, but it gives you a full mirror of your data. So you have a full backup of everything in case one drive fails. Now this will be slower by about 50% because it's basically copying your files over to both drives, giving you two different copies of that file. But honestly, transfer speeds don't mean anything to me as long as all of my files are safe. Even though I say that it cuts the speed in half by 50%, it doesn't mean that it's slow by any means. Like I'm sitting here waiting for all of my data to transfer. So I've got a quick example to share with you guys. I've got this 10 gigabyte folder and when I move it over to the external drive, it still transfers pretty fast. It's not speeds that you would see from something like a solid state drive, but again, you have the safety of knowing your files are safe from a failed hard drive. Even though 10 terabytes of storage is massive, I've already managed to fill up four and a half terabytes of the drive. Now granted, I store every single picture or video that I ever take on that drive, and if it ever fills up, I can open up these two doors right here on the front to add two new drives. Now, I am not going to be demonstrating this for you guys, as the last time I tried to open up one of the doors, everything from that one drive deleted, and everything had to copy back over to that drive. It was like three terabytes of data, it was a total mess, but this enclosure right here will allow you to easily replace the drives once they are full by simply opening the two front panels. So that's basically all. I know this video is probably so boring, listening to me talk about 
without a hard drive, but this thing is the unsung hero of my setup and my overall workflow. I mean, first of all, being able to just dump everything on there and know everything's backed up and safe is one good thing, but also the workstation aspect of it, being able to sit down with my laptop, plug in one cable and get to work really is a game changer. If you don't want to splurge and get the 20 terabyte option like I did, I don't blame you. I'll throw a link down in the description to check it out on Amazon. And from there, you can check out some of the different prices that go along with some of the different size configurations for this Lacey RAID 2 big hard drive. Let me know down in the comments how you guys back up and store all of your videos or photos. And if you don't, make sure you get on it because again, losing everything really does suck. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.